In a world where so much has changed in recent times, we are constantly reminded of the importance of an adaptable mindset. Whatever your goals, in order to succeed, you need to be open to adapting to changes that come along the way. In a world where so much has changed in recent times, we are constantly reminded of the importance of an adaptable mindset. Whatever your goals, in order to succeed, you need to be open to adapting to changes that come along the way. My name is Catherine Gahu, and I'm an entrepreneur. I've been in the business of research and training for many years. I believe that adaptability is an important success principle. But much as change has always been with us, the changes that have come in 2020 with the pandemic impacting all sectors of the economy have caused us to reflect more on the value of adaptability. Adaptability simply means flexibility or being open to change. It reflects the willingness to adapt or adjust in response to unexpected change. People who are adaptive respond well to change and they don't get frustrated when plans change suddenly they are always ready to learn new ways to do things. They are always getting involved with new situations, buying new things and the like. This guarantees success in the pursuit of your goal. Your ability to change with the changes that go along plays a big role in enabling your success. Even with what you consider your best laid plans, when circumstances change, if you're adaptive, you will find a new way to win. If you have an adaptable mindset, you'll be better able to cope with change and disruption. You will even recognize change as an opportunity to innovate and do things in a new way. We used to hear about the inevitability of change in the past with statements like, you either change or change will change you. And we thought of them as far-fetched creatures. Today, no one has been spared by the changes associated with this pandemic. Job losses, orders cancelled, lack of supplies, factories closed, offices closed, disruption of distribution, grounded planes and the like have greatly impacted our lifestyles. These changes have put a premium on adaptability, make it even more valued both at home and the workplace. Today, some companies have added the characteristic of adaptability as a major factor to consider for any future employees that they will recruit. This pandemic has helped us to recognize that openness to change and readiness to adapt is a necessary outlook for progress. The more adaptable we are, the better we are at coping with major changes and disruptions. Consider this question. To what extent would you say that you have an adaptable mindset? Would you say that it's to a limited extent, to a moderate extent, or to a very high extent? Regardless of your response, let's go on and consider the attributes associated with adaptability. If you have an adaptable mindset, you'll be more likely to, one, recognize changing situations quickly and to assess their implications. Two, you'll be able to respond to change positively. Three, you'll be able to see change as presenting an opportunity to innovate and do things in a new way. And four, you'll be able to quickly consider possible ways to respond to change and to decide the best course of action. Whether your goal is related to improving your job performance, getting a new client, making more money or offering your family a better lifestyle, being able to adapt to changing circumstances will improve your chances of success. To be successful in life, career or business, we must be able to embrace unexpected changes that come as a surprise to us. We sharpen our tools for managing change by learning to deal with changes that come with different stages of life. This applies through the stages in your personal or business life cycle. Everything operates in cycles. One of the most obvious indicators of change in our lives is aging. Every birthday reminds us that things are changing. As a parent, you come from attending preschool events to high school sports and plays, then to graduations. 
followed in quick succession by seeing your children move out of the house as grown adults with their own careers. You may even get to attend weddings and even see your own grandchildren. All this keeps prompting you on the need to adapt, reminding you that life is always changing. If you do not learn to adapt to change, you tend to suffer through these stages instead of accepting them as part of moving on in life, recreating your life for the next stage. You know, some parents are even shocked to see when their children grow to a level where they can answer back. But we learn it's just another stage in life. It's part of the life cycle. Regardless of the nature of change you face, success comes to those who learn to recognize and navigate the different disruptions with ease. You learn to accept. I like the serenity prayer, which says, Lord, give me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change what I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. This carries important lessons in adaptability. Some situations are to be accepted as they are because you don't have the power to change them. Other situations are to be challenged and strategies developed to overcome them. But without courage, this adaptive response will not be possible. Furthermore, without wisdom to know the difference, you will suffer disappointment and frustration trying to change what you cannot or miss opportunities to find new ways to win. The more time you spend focusing on what you cannot change, the less prepared you will be to take action on what you can change. In actual fact, for the things that you cannot change, the way to move forward is to accept them and find coping mechanisms. For those that you can change, then you focus there to look which is the best way to address them. You know, what action can you take? to take advantage of the opportunity arising because of the new change. What action do you need to take in order to maximize on the opportunity presented by that change? To improve on adaptability, you need to keep an open mind. Before I close, I have a question for you. What one action will you take in the next few days to work on adaptability? If you are new here, remember to subscribe, comment, and keep watching. I appreciate all your comments. Please put your comments on the channel so that other people can see them. Thank you and best wishes. We all need to elevate our mindset at this time.